The next step is to um, assess the carotid pulse. Uh, again, go ahead and look straight for me, Makana. Um, you want to avoid checking up in the higher aspect of the neck where the carotid sinus is. Um, if you massage the carotid sinus, it can cause a reflexive drop in blood pressure and heart rate. So you want to avoid the upper half of the neck and instead feel for the carotid in the lower half the neck. Um, you may need to displace um, the sternocleidomastoid muscle in order to, to feel this. So palpate right there and you can also palpate the other side. And you never want to palpate both sides uh, simultaneously. That uh, can cut off blood flow to the brain. So palpate one side. While you're palpating this, you, you're looking and feeling for the amplitude uh, and the upstroke. It should be a brisk upstroke. Uh, if you're listening to the heart as while you're feeling this, the carotid upstroke happens right after S1 and before S2. That is helpful uh, if the heart rate is, is really fast and you can't differentiate between S1 and S2 while you're listening. You can, also, you can listen and feel, uh, feel the carotid pulsation and you can kind of um, identify which one's S1 and S which one's S2. Next, I'm going to use my stethoscope and listen over the carotid artery for bruise. This is important to do in someone who is um, middle-aged or older, anybody that you suspect to have cerebral vascular disease, um, and if you felt a thrill. So part of your assessment when you're palpating is to feel uh, for thrills, which is a um, cat-like cat purring. So you'll feel that sort of cat purring or that vibration. Uh, and if, that's, if you felt that, then you would need to assess for bruise. I'm going to listen with both the bell and the diaphragm of my stethoscope. And again, you would listen to both sides, not just one. I'm going to listen to just his right side for, for now. Good. And then the bell. Good. Know that if someone has an aortic murmur uh, that, that radiates, a lot of times aortic murmurs will radiate up to the neck, so you, you may mistake uh, what you think is a brewery, but it's actually um, a cardiac murmur. So uh, make sure you listen well over the cardiac structures to see if that, there's a, a murmur there that's just radiating up to the neck.